Wow, we're really working together on this. Okay, so let's uh, let's set up an army here. So who wants passive experience? It would be all these little elementals. I'm sure there's more because then they can level up and become big elementals. Here we go, an entire army of elementals passively leveling up. That's actually pretty sick. Hello everyone, my name is Gracie, and this is episode 12 of this Let's Play of Age of Wonders for Primal Fury DLC. We're playing as Salen Eclipse, and we're at our, like, third, maybe fourth battle uh, at this same location at the capital city of our main enemy. Uh, she's not here, but if we beat this, then she has nowhere to go if we find her and kill her. Then we win the whole game. And we're only on episode 12. This would be a record for me in terms of winning, not losing. So we're doing a big old siege battle here. So what's your range here? God, I wish I could check your range. I can't. Uh, does it shoot? It doesn't shoot an AOE though, does it? it? Has to reload. Starts on cooldown. It's 20 damage. Okay. Um, I don't have a whole lot of AOE. This is skeleton warrior. So you are fodder. A shield unit here. Move you up a little bit, put the, this guy in there. And then I think I gave the restoration skill to multiple people? I did. I'm probably going to use it. I also got a lot of shield units over here. Oh, I moved, so I can't use it. Whoops. I didn't even think about that. Uh, so as long as you... Oh, you've already moved as well. Well, damn it. It's okay. We'll spend the first turn preparing. Wait for our ballista thing. Nimu, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> oh, their towers didn't go yet? Or did they go on the first turn? Or uh, I don't know what happened there. Um, that's a pretty good spot. Huh. There we go. And then this one. Uh, I think this is a good spot. Let's take out some of these walls. Huh. Excuse me. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is do 10 hit points and regen. Same here. And then over here we don't have that. We have a restore. We can also do an animal. Oh, I got a caustic worm. Okay. Beat. All right. Uh, didn't fr freeze him. It's okay. You're gonna be fine. Let's heal this one. Goodbye, tower. Um, so you're probably gonna just go up and stand in there and be annoying. Got a big guy on that side, so I'd rather you be ready to go to the other side. But that doesn't mean we can't harass the ever-loving shit out of them with snowballs. Here, have some snowballs! Got him! Are you immune to freezing? No. Have some snowballs! Probably not gonna manage to freeze that guy. Can I freeze this thing? 
Oh, yeah, I can. Let's go for this guy again. Low chance, but if it worked, it would be awesome. Okay. So you're going to go into defense mode. This guy is melee. That skeleton archer does not matter, though, is the nice thing. Um... Who has dem don't you guys have demolisher from your juggernaut may crush non fortified obstacles? Can you can you not attack this? Okay. Does anyone have an ability that would work on that? I think I think we might have to go around. This looks like you could go in here. Oh no, it says Palisade Wall. Yeah, I thought these weren't here, but they are. They're showing that they're not there. That's not there. That's not there. That one's there. That's really dumb. I can't smash through this, unfortunately. I can use this, though. Freeze these little spiders so they can't do anything. Grazed, but we froze it. It's a frozen tower. Goes both ways. Frozen removed. That's okay. He gave up his turn to do that, so it's still only one turn, which is good. The wall is pissing me off. <laughs> Kill that wall. Forty-five percent chance you missed three times. You guys okay? That's a little silly. So like opening up walls as I go. Now you can float all the way over there. So let's have Are you ready to shoot again? No. So let's have you move to here, and then turn around and shoot this one. Oh, it's immune to my special damage types. Oh, interesting. Uh, so let's use you. There we go. Got a lot of these little guys, <laughs> snow spirits. <laughs> Need too many snow spirits. If I get distracted, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, we got distracted. Okay, so it's always flanking. Now you're gonna go here and stab this guy because he's big. Actually, yeah, no, Giant Slayer is popping off. Okay, actually, I'm not. I wasn't 100 percent sure if he even counted as big. No one can attack these walls. Get in there and pin him in. Uh, oh, you have your action points back, huh? Sweet. Okay, well, take the shot. Oh, slip away. Right. I've never had this many, like, 
summoned units in one battle, I don't think. That's kind of crazy. Look at them all. A whole army of phantasm warriors and uh, snow spirits. Slip away. Yep. All right. Let's stab this guy. Giant Slayer. I love I love pikemen. Let me get this crap out of the way so we can get in. There we go. Oh yeah, he can't slip away because he's not real. Or he's a, uh, a guest, a guest combatant. All right, there we go. Our morale is looking good. This doesn't, does this destroy obstacles and stuff? Bam, perfect. My other catapult. How far? I, oh my god, you can shoot far. What the hell? There, shoot that far. <laughs> oh, it's so silly. This guy's gonna run away. Eh second now let's get in here and completely surround Oh, a graze. Okay, that's actually fine because now he didn't slip away to somewhere where he can actually escape. So he should be, should be completely low on morale here. Yeah, it looks like they're about to flee. Alright, who wants the final hit? Uh, well, it's gonna be... There we go, a slip away. I'll, I'll have, a, I'll have a, a white witch do it. Never mind. Frozen. There we go. Let's have uh, Salen do it with a dagger. Stab. All right. So we won the fight for the capital. Now we just got to find the faction leader and then we win. No losses. Beautiful. Raise units. I don't see why not. We're on a we're on a rampage. Bounty. such a rampage so I just gotta find our feated legion okay so this will make all of these skeletons even more ridiculous Domain of Death, target friendly, has city stability. Friendly undead units in the domain grant damage. Enemies become soulbound. Blizzard. World maps, yeah, minus three status resistant is beautiful. This is going to become a vassal. I'm not going to manage it myself. Um, the fishmonger, this thing. Actually, let's get that first. That'll help everything else out. Just click on a bunch of buildings. I don't care. Level 8. Summon undead. Virulent outbreak. So we have summon animal. Let's get summon undead because you'll automatically make it stronger. I think we have the skill, right? Unholy leader. And you're a support slash battle mage. Um, Mammoth primal connection.
Fire Evoker. What's Resistance 3 do? Oof. Distant Evocation, Magic Attacks gain a range. That's pretty good, just for just for shooting from safety. She's only got 90 health. I never gave her any more health. <laughs> Boy, I was not worried about it. Summon Snow Spirit. I don't think we need that at this time. Uh, maybe down here. When will we have our next hero? Nine turns. Captured another character with a blight axe, a barbed shield, and a helmet. So we will go ahead and grant that person freedom. And then um, we will grab their stuff and we'll put it on. Where is, not that character, Lacutus the Painless. Oh, he's got that cleansing shield, though. It doesn't actually go up into the fight, so to speak. Can't have a shield with that one. Where's my fourth hero? Staff user. Crossbow user. So this shield here is blight resistance. Probably not necessary. I think I'd rather have the... Uh... Well, that's a tier two, though. Well, this does have the barbed melee attackers. Yeah, let's confirm that, and then Light Axe, the Slowing Bow, Staff of the Glacial Mammoth, Lightbringer, Whirlwind Strike. Yeah, you are sort of one that gets sort of in the middle of everybody. Helmet. I'm sure somebody else around here needs a helmet. Fetid Legion, or Fetid, I think is the actual way you say it. This is a 25 population city. Oh, first Huntress, word has reached me you have captured an important hero of Aldnest. Elder Monin Briar rubs her hands. This so-called heroine has killed many of my soldiers. Capturing her would surely increase our leverage over her wretched city. We have prepared a special treatment. Uh, for blah 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 the storm whatever uh, send even prisoners oh I don't like torture I don't like torture evil character alignment make it worth my while and she's yours I'll do that okay so now it's time to hunt her down one city at a time now we just got to make sure this person loves us because if we ever end up not with them then we're in trouble um we also want to make sure that that we're not being attacked uh never mind there's no way that uh Arrow wolf is going to be able to do anything with this person bearing down on them wow we're really working together on this okay so let's uh let's set up an army here so so who who wants passive experience It would be all these little elementals. I'm sure there's more. Because then they can level up and become big elementals. Here we go, an entire army of elementals passively leveling up. That's actually pretty sick. Uh, looks like no, mo no more borders over here. I really think I need to go to Boulder. Oh, this is ready. Grab one of these. Uh, as a scout. Okay, who else has experience leader? Oops, Google is listening to me. Not, not a huge fan. Experience leader, this guy. So any other units that we want to gain experience passively, like these two bone horrors. So I want them to be strong. Don't care about skeletons. Don't care about skeletons. Uh, White Witch. Maybe here's another bone horror. More skeletons. Here's a white witch. Uh, and here's a support unit. That would be good. There we go. So these are the ones I want gaining the passive experience from those two heroes. And then we just put together another strong army. Uh, who has unholy leader? Not you. Uh, not you. 
So you are whiteborn. Whoops, when did I do that? Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. I didn't make them whiteborn. Oh, is she from. Are these guys whiteborn? Is it, oh, it's because I raised her from the dead with souls. Oops. Sorry, Okapi. Uh, you are dead whether you like it or not. Phantasm Warrior. And so now in this stack we have melee. And we just need a little bit of range. A battle Mage. Uh, Okapi Shomapi will lead. And here's a White Witch. There we go. So that's a little, a decent little army there. Now we're just going to stack the rest of these guys up. Figure out what to do with them next turn. Aha, another unit's ready. I might stop making units now. I think, I think we'll have enough once we get, what are we building actually? Animist, Ancestral Warden. So once we have those two, I think we'll be totally fine. Oh, actually... I could use a scout, even though it takes two turns because my draft is terrible. I'll cast that later. It's going to cost me estimated cost 35 and 52. I'll be in the hole. I can't do that yet. That's too much. So I'm just going to leave it. Foreign Dusk sent a war party. I don't care. They can't do anything. Let's see if we can spot them coming. Hostile Ald Nest. Okay. Where are you? There's no one there. That can't be right. No, that's impossible. There's no one here. Oh, here they are. But there's no... Yeah, those aren't really what I'm looking for. Oh, there's some more. Okay, they're universally camouflaged. Damn it, how am I ever going to find her? Oh, that's going to be annoying. Okay, how am I going to how am I going to find her? How am I going to find her? I need true sight somehow. I'm just waiting for this city to be completely vassalized. We could probably step off of it like that. And then we can move on. Let's get a scout. I don't think the eagle eye gives them any sort of true sight, right? It just makes them able to see further. Croak, plus two vision range, okay. Clear that out. Empire skill. Well, we are gonna need another um, whispering stone here in a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that now. Uh, how do they like me right now? It's better. It's getting better. Let's do a uh, let's do a trade. Yeah, I'll pay you gold for mana. There we go. This war is tiresome. Yeah, I bet you're tired of it. Oh, I can't do a friendship. Settle grievances. Phoenix flame spawn. If I forgive these, then we become friendlier and I don't really want to go to war with this person right now. I just want to win the game. That's the goal. Win the game and get off the planet with the shitty storms in the ocean. <laughs> 
I'm f fucking tired of these storms. All right, give me the throne. Siren's throne. Yeah, hell yeah. Okay. So they've summoned, oh, you know, just storm giants. No big fucking deal. Whoa. God damn, that's scary. All right, so how do they like me? Probably don't like me much. Give Whispering Stone. Cooperation. Uh, I will pay you money for production. Whatever. It, it gives a little bit of a boost. Oh, they left. Oh my god, they left. They're not even going to defend. I don't need to add a siege project. And we're still in enemy territory, so we're healing. Oh no, we're not in enemy territory. What? This city, this city's expansion is weird as hell. What the fuck? They took exclusively water provinces? There's still room on this for another city, you idiots. <laughs> so weird. Oh my God, I might go make one. I might go settle down here. Like what the hell? That's so weird. Um, I mean, I, I think I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to go make an outpost and a city. You guys are fairly well healed up. Let's, let's stay one more turn in the borders. And then I'm going to send these skeletons off just to look around and see if there's any sign of any more cities. Like here's something that's an invasion or a uh, infestation. How are we doing on time? We're about out of time. I need to know where everybody went to escape me. God, I hope they didn't go underground. There's what's his face's capital. <laughs> Damn it. God, where are you? Ooh, here we go. We're ready to do this fight here, I think. Um, we've got range, melee. Yeah, we actually got a very balanced army here. Uh, I'm just going to slap. No, you know what? Because I don't care if I lose any units. I just want to... Well, they are pretty strong. Let's get another... Another one of these because it's dual purpose. And then we'll do this fight on the next episode. But I want to try out these uh, these Ancestral Wardens who look really cool. Um, and they also have a lot of damage. It's actually not crazy. But let's see if they have any large targets. They have a mounted unit here. Uh, not mounted. Yeah, so the, our pikes are only really extra good against... Um, one of theirs. Now, they don't have any pikes, so they don't have any advantage against all of our mounted units, which we have a lot of. A lot of mounted units. It's cool that our white witches are mounted. Just makes them fast and stompy. Alright, so thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this series so far. If you have, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check the link in the description for my Patreon if you want to support the channel and have double the chance to show up in my games as a character or an item or whatever. And I will see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.